This is 91.3 FM WCUW in Worcester, Massachusetts with the Dr. Chris Radio of Horror program. And tonight on Radio of Horror, we have a unique guest calling in to us from Sweden, a musician. Uh, his project is Videogram, and the artist is Magnus Selegren, who has recorded some interesting horror tracks uh, over in Sweden. Thank you for coming on the show with us, Magnus. Thanks for having me. How did Videogram get started? And tell us a little bit about it, especially for a lot of us in the United States who aren't familiar with it. Well, uh, Videogram started uh, when James Harris, that runs the Doc Terror website, got in touch with me. He's running the Italian Horror Week every year, and he asked me to do a mixtape. But me, pretty much being a workaholic, I instantly said, hey, how about I just make songs, new songs? And it evolved from there. So I, the first album was at, uh, premiered on his uh, website during the Italian Horror Week, and I kind of took it from there. And you are a pretty big fan of the Friday the 13th franchise, hence your um, song Camp Blood, which is kind of a uh, interesting version of like Friday the 13th Part 3, which had a disc, d- disco techno mix to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, got to keep in mind that living in Europe and especially in Sweden back then in the 80s I mean it was the major movies were way easier to get in the video store than say Fulci movies you know so yeah Friday the 13th came early on now does Sweden have a lot of um, hard laws on horror movies not anymore but there were it wasn't as bad as you probably heard about the video nasty outrage in the UK, right? Really disturbing back in the eighties. But yeah. Sweden had sort of the same thing, but not as bad. But yeah, there was censorship. So I remember, like, when I finally got my hands on the Evil Dead Two VHS tape from the UK, it finally made sense to me <laughs> because the the end was all chopped up by the Swedish Bureau of um, sensors. Now, Sweden had recently made, well, because filmmakers in Sweden, uh, of course, have made a couple of really well-known international films, uh, such as Let the Right One In and The Girl yeah. with Dragon Tattoo, which uh, may not be very violent, but has an extraordinarily um, horrible rape scene in it. Were those movies able to be made because of the laxed laws over the last few years? Oh, yeah, I think so. I mean, um, the climate has changed. I mean, uh even The Walking Dead, I, I'm guessing, but I think it's like the biggest TV show in Sweden as well, like it is in the United States, right? Oh, yeah, it's it's huge. It has like 16 million viewers. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So something is definitely changing. And I think that's a good thing because to me it's just, you know, entertainment like any other form or genre. Now, your your project, Videogram, do you do it all yourself, or do you have people that help uh, back you up? That kind of depends on song-per-song basis, but yeah, I collaborate with uh, people like um, Jamie Coghill, an Australian drummer. He's also known as, known as uh, the Jimmy C. He's provided a lot of drums for me in the past, so he's on, he's on pretty much every release so far, and he's making an appearance on my coming album as well. What are some of the instruments you use for videogram? Uh, synths, sirs, uh, tapes, um, drums, pretty much everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> Where did you go to school? Did you go to school for music? Yeah, actually I did. But I, honestly, I, I, I got to say I learned way more after school than I did in school. Mm-hmm. How many albums do you have? One album. Okay. I see on your website you have Cor- Corbretti and Raiders of the Apocalypse and Camp Blood, but those are three different songs. Yeah, it's like singles and EPs. Okay, okay. Do you have a full set coming out? Uh, are you just going to be doing horror homages, or are you going to hit any other genre? I kind of like to blend. Videograph to me is like VHS nostalgia, and yeah, there's, got, there's more genres. I mean, um, like action movies, etc. I mean, Cobretti wasn't a horror movie, even though I think it's sort of like a slasher action movie, mm-hmm. sort of. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got the uh, my new album is coming on Cineploid, and there's horror on it, but different stuff as well. Do you leave Sweden when you uh, play your music, or do you just stay in Sweden? I'm currently staying in Sweden, but I had been asked, and if I could just get a live version of it together, I would love to, you know, take it on the road. 
one of the uh, one of my favorite artists of all time actually comes from Sweden. H. R. Geiger, Giger. Oh, cool. But uh, we have a uh, there's a uh, there was a documentary that was just made about him called uh, Star Beast. Um, or sorry, no, Dark Star, and it's actually going to be playing here in Massachusetts in the uh, next uh, few weeks. It's an entire documentary on the life of H. R. Giger. Nice. Are yeah, he was a unique character. Are you familiar with his work and stuff? Have you ever been to his? Oh uh, yeah. Have you been to oh, his yeah. museum? Uh, or sorry, not his museum, but it's like a restaurant hotel. Have you ever? Oh been no, there? I haven't visited, but I'm familiar with his work because he did some artwork for a couple of punk bands, and uh, I mean Alien. Come yes. On. I mean, he made some amazing work for that one. Alien species. Yep. Yep. Have you ever thought about doing like an homage, a song for as a, as like an homage to him? No, actually not. But, you know, I had a tribute to Alien on the first album. And sure, I would love to do something. But that would be, I'm kind of immediately, now when you brought it up, that would be somewhat dark and industrial. If you got to do something to as a tribute to Giger, it should be like dark and industrial. Absolutely. Maybe we'll, we'll see. Hmm. What's the next song that you're working on coming up? The next, I, I am currently finishing up my filling album on Cineploid, as well as The Camp Blood will be released as a 10-inch uh, picture disc EP. Uh, it's gonna have it's gonna have um, five tracks. Oh wow! EP. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. So you're very much into vinyl releases as well. Yeah, I mean. There's something special about vinyl. I mean, not just nostalgia, but it, I, I mean, the artwork for this one is amazing. And it, putting it on a CD, sure, it, it could work. But putting it on on a 10-inch vinyl disc, that would be that would be great. So yeah. Well, um, let us know when uh, that comes out because we'd love to play one on the air. That would be awesome. We're we're very much oh. vinyl collectors here at Radio of Horror. Cool. I, I'm, I will. All right. Awesome. Well, hey, we appreciate you taking some time out to come on the show with us to talk uh, a little bit about uh, Videogram, and we will play yeah. Camp Blood tonight uh, following this interview. Cool. Well, thanks for having me. No problem. <laughs> 